<clears throat> hey, this is Ryan Jones with Serverless Guru. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to deploy a React.js app on Firebase. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cover how to create a React app in the first place using a tool called Create React App. And then we'll jump into Firebase, we'll create a project, and then we'll actually deploy it, run it locally, learn a little bit about that, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, so let's jump into something called Create React App. So Create React App is a, uh, it says it right here, you run one command and it sets up everything for you. And this is really awesome. So we're gonna use this for our project. The first thing you're gonna need to do is open up your terminal. So if you switch open to your terminal, we're gonna basically run these commands here. So if you have npm installed, you'll already have mpx. If you don't have npm installed, you can use brew and you can do brew install node and then that should get you npm. So here we're gonna do npx create react app. We're gonna call it my app. Once this gets installed and everything's ready to go, we'll CD into it. And then we're gonna run npm start, which is a command that they've created, which will actually uh, start this up for us, which is pretty awesome. We can see so far that it's resolved packages, it's fetched packages, linked them, and built new ones. And then there we go, so it's done in 30 seconds. We have a couple options here. We can use yarn start, yarn build, and uh, yarn test, yarn inject. The two main ones that we use are yarn test and yarn build. So we'll be using those in this video. So let's go ahead and CD into my app. And then we're going to run yarn start. And immediately what should happen, yep, it opens up a separate tab. And then we should see our website. And there we go. Cool. So in about 30 seconds, it's pretty much all it takes to download. You can actually get a React JS app running. And it's going to do a lot of stuff for us. So let's go ahead and shut down this server. And then we're going to open this up in a text editor. So you can use whatever you want. Um, you know, things like Atom or full on IDE. I'm using something called VS Code. And so for me, I just run code dots and it's gonna open up that current directory. So now what we're gonna do is look at some of the files and look at some of the scripts and then we'll get going on Firebase. So the package.json, this is the one that actually kind of your brain of your application when it comes to pre-deployment and like pre running so this is what allows us to do like that yarn start command when we run yarn start it actually looks it up in this package.json file see start underneath scripts and it runs react scripts start same thing for if we ran yarn build it'll look it up inside the package.json look inside the scripts and then find okay there's one called build and then it'll run this command but we can also take this command and let me just open up a terminal and we can run it here as well. And it has the, it should have the same result um, as long as we have uh, React scripts installed. Cool. So for us, what we're doing when we run yarn and then start, what we're actually doing is we're, we're basically going into uh, the node environment and then we're using React scripts from there. So I don't actually have uh, React scripts installed globally. So if I did that, I right, take a second <clears throat> while this is going let's go ahead and check out the source folder and look at some stuff that we have so if you're familiar with react.js then uh, this will be very simple to understand and if you're not I'll try to you know give a good overview very quickly so just like regular HTML you have a div here this is your HTML for the website this is what you're seeing when you're looking at that uh, react symbol a second ago and then inside of that you've got a header 
and then you have an image. That was the app logo that you were seeing for React. You have a paragraph underneath, and then finally it has a an href here. So those things are very normal. The stuff inside of it, like uh, the way that you do these variables, we're not gonna actually get into that in this video, but just this is the basic structure, is that if you're familiar with uh, JavaScript and you're familiar with uh, import statements, we're importing our CSS file, we're importing a SVG, and then we're also importing the React and component from the React dependency. And now if we check out the index.js, we have a very simple one line command here that says react dom dot render our app. And this is importing from this app file. That app file is this file here. And inside of that, there is HTML. So all these things kind of connect back together. The index.js calls the app.js. The app.js has our HTML. And then it just keeps going from there. So that's the way that you can kind of break apart your application with React. So now that we know that and we've got this thing installed, let's try to run this command one more time. So as you can see, we got back to the same screen, but we didn't have to run yarn start in that case. Um, and that's because we installed React scripts globally on our computer. But if you notice how long that took, um, it actually took 100 seconds versus when we use create React app, which took 30 seconds. So I would always preference that over installing it locally. Um, it's fine to just run yarn start here and not actually install the dependency underneath it to your computer. Um, this is much preferred. So sweet, we've got this running. Now let's go ahead and look at the Firebase console and let's create a new project. So if you haven't actually gone here before, you can go to console.firebase.google.com. This will open up your, uh, this may have you sign into Google first. So I'm already signed into my Google account, so I can just go over here to add project. We're gonna call this my app, very simple. We're going to say that use the default uh, settings for sharing Google data. I'm going to say no, or I guess I have to. Yeah. So yes, and then Cloud Firestore, United States, all that looks fine. We hit create project. And now Google in the background is going to start spinning up some services. The main service that we're going to use from Firebase is called Firebase Hosting. Firebase Hosting allows you to host your React.js application with HTTPS. So inside of the My App console, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Firebase Hosting. So you can see that on this left side, you can see hosting there. We're gonna hit get started. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to install the Firebase tools. So the same way that we just installed React scripts, we're now gonna switch back to our terminal and we're gonna install Firebase tools. While that's running, let's go ahead and continue and look at what else we need. So, and then once we're, once we basically got this installed, we're gonna do Firebase login, which is gonna log into our Firebase account, which we've done up here. And then we're gonna actually run Firebase init, which is gonna initialize our React.js project to be able to be hosted on Firebase. And the last thing, we're gonna run Firebase deploy. So three commands, not a lot of stuff. Log in, initialize, deploy it. And at the end of this deploy command, we should have a website running on, AW, or sorry, on, on Google. Cool, so that's installed. So let's go ahead and run Firebase login. I might actually have to run Firebase logout first. So give me one second. And now we're gonna run Firebase login. You can say yes or no to this. I'm just gonna say no. So then we're gonna choose your Google account and you'll give it permission. So I'm gonna say yes to this. 
And we've now initialized the Firebase CLI. And then we're going to go to the next command, which is Firebase init. And then it's going to ask us a couple questions here. So let's just go through this. So number one, we're going to get hosting. So what we can do is we can use um, the down key and we can choose hosting. To choose hosting, you hit the spacebar. And then we're going to hit enter. And then it's going to ask us what application we want to use, what project. We're going to go down to my app and we're going to hit enter. And it's going to say, what do you want to use as your public directory? We're going to say, I think we're going to actually say uh, build here. And then it says configure as a single page application. And we're going to say, I think we're going to say no or yes. Let's do yes. Cool. So now with this, we've got this Firebase RC file, which basically links to our project. And then we have the Firebase.json file, which is now uh, has our hosting and stuff in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to now run Firebase deploy and see if this thing is working properly. Well, first off, we basically said that we're going to have a build folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually build this application. So we're going to say yarn build. And then the create react scripts library is going to actually create a optimized build. So there we go. So in nine seconds, we've got that. Now you can see here that we've got our few files underneath the build folder. And then we're going to say Firebase deploy. And we'll see if this thing works. There you go, it's uploading our stuff. And then there you go. We now have a project live at this endpoint. So if we open this up and it works, that means that we've gone and we've done the whole thing. So there we go. So we just took our local React.js app, we've deployed it onto a Firebase project, and we've configured Firebase hosting to run this website. Now we could get as crazy as we want. We could come back in here, we could build out a whole application, and then use that exact same thing to basically deploy it to Firebase. And then the last thing that I'm going to show you is obviously we don't want to deploy it every single time. So you can do one of two things. You can use Firebase even has something to run stuff locally. So in this case, we have something called Firebase serve. And then we can actually go to this URL here. And we can see that it's running at localhost 5000, the same way that you run yarn start. So let's do that. Yarn start. So between Firebase serve and yarn start, they do the exact same thing. The only difference would be that I usually prefer to do um, react start. So I'll do yarn start over uh, anything else. So and I think that that's just a good way to do it because you know, it's, it's more in line with how you built the project. So you're going to be able to get more functionality out of it. Regardless, now that we know how to do that, that kind of wraps up our video. So we've just created a new, we created a new project. We created a Firebase project. We ran that project locally, and then we learned how to deploy it to Firebase. And then finally, we wrapped up with learning how to serve that same project locally, but using the Firebase command. So the last thing that you can do is come in here to Firebase. We're going to hit finish. We can see the hosting dashboard. So for us, we'll be able to see the current version of the code. And this is kind of cool because when you can see these versions, you can actually go back and do something called a rollback where you actually roll back to the last version um, if you push multiple times. 
you can connect your actual domain. So if you wanted to actually hook this up to a real website like www.serverlessguru.com, uh, right? So if we we're gonna actually do something like this, we could actually go through, verify that we own the domain. And then now this Firebase project would link to serverlessguru.com. And then finally, we're gonna go up here to project settings. And we're going to scroll to uh, whichever one is delete. Let's see if we can find it real quick. Delete project, delete all Firebase services, disable the APIs, delete it. Cool. So now we are just shutting everything down and now it is deleted. And we're going to close out this tab. And finally, we have this create react app here. And I'm going to go ahead and end the video at this point. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This was Ryan with Serverless Guru. And this was covering how to deploy a React.js application using create react app and Firebase hosting.